When the weather's like this, there's nothing better than getting outside and enjoying the sun, which is also one of the best sources of vitamin D. So how much do we really think about the health benefits of being out here? I do worry about the light and getting enough sunshine, but probably not about my vitamin D levels. Well, I'm aware of it, yes, and, and spend plenty of time outside, so it doesn't seem like an issue during the summer. I've always felt I, I get enough because I do you know, I enjoy the sun and I don't worry too much about it. It's not just the sunlight. Certain foods such as oily fish, mushrooms and some dairy products provide limited amounts of the vitamin. And if you don't get enough there, then supplements are another way to top up levels. But a report found people in England aren't getting enough vitamin D. Official estimates believe one in five adults and one in six children may already have low levels. So experts now recommend that everyone should take 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day between October and March, the equivalent of two tins of tuna. Children aged one to five should be given the supplement all year round. Babies who are breastfed should also be given a similar dose, but formula-fed babies should already be getting enough. The advice has had a mixed reaction here in Shropshire. I mean, in the winter, yeah, we do kind of lack vitamin D in this country, so I try to get some drops down him somehow or another, I'm sure. I know I've been had a vitamin D deficiency before now myself, so I'd want to make sure that she'd not suffer with that. We won't be taking the supplements every day, so I think we just need to let our kids get outside. Short bursts of sunlight without sunscreen is also recommended, but what happens if we don't get enough of the vitamin? For adults, we're talking about things like osteomalacia, which is about muscle weakness, about bone strength, and you can also get pain. And for infants, if they're not getting enough, you will get poor growth, they could get um, painful joints, and at its worst case, that could lead to rickets. So while the sun lasts, no matter what the activity, having fun and staying healthy can work in harmony. Frankie McCamley, Five News.